I guess there is only one way to conclude tonight's presentation, and that's to hear the Christmas story as it was written in the Gospel of St. Luke, Chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. <coughs> Also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he, he belonged to the house and line of David. He went with Mary to He went with Mary to be pledged who was married. <laughs> he went with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. She wrapped him in clothes and cloths and placed him in bed because there was no guest room available for him. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch of their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to you, God in the highest and on the earth. Peace to people of good will. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing the Lord has told us about. So they hurried up and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was laid in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. 